Yo, what's up? It's Polly and Bok Choi. Say what's up. What's up, guys? Yeah, we want to thank them. Tell them. We want to thank my bookie for sponsoring this episode at my bookie. Right? It's cool. It's like winning season. <laughs> It means watching live sports and betting on live sports. All what? All, All season long, dudes. So get in on the action. Use promo code RANTS. And double your first deposit. New players get up to $1,000 in free play designed to add more what? Excitement. Uh, yep. Excitement to the sports. And you what? You love and the games you bet. Yeah, so they're cool, dude. Yeah, dude. We're rolling, guys. Quiet on the set. Very important. Right? Bungie jump, guys. What's up, everybody? I'm Black Bok Choy coming to you from beautiful downtown Las Vegas, the Rancho de Casa. Here's your wonderful host. Everybody loves him, the one with the most, Paulie Shore. Whoa! Wow. Wow. What's up? What do you think, guys? He's a little awkward, right? Does it seem awkward or no? Why is it, is it cool? Yeah. All right, all right. I don't know, it just seems a little awkward today, but I guess we'll just figure it out. Oh my God. Here we go. Can you fast forward into the other part or no? Let me see, go faster, faster. There you go. What's up, you guys? All across America, all across the world. This is called, my, my name's Polly Shore, right? Right? And this is called Polly Shore's Random Rants. This is a video podcast, audio podcast, and it's where I randomly rant on different things that are going on. We don't stop. It's like fucking bungee jumping. When you bungee jump, Bok Choy, you what? You fall. You fall down. Yes. And you don't know what's gonna what? You don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know what's gonna happen. But before we get going, cut the music, cut the music, cut the music. <laughs> I want to introduce Talitha. Talitha, come out. She's the rant girl. I know if you guys seen boxing, master GOC fights, they go rant one, which is rant one, right? Rant two, rant two, and rant three, rant three. So it's three rants plus we fuck around and do some other shit. All right, cool. These cards are hard. Yeah, well, all right. Anything? There you, whoa. Okay, cool. They, I think they got it. Thanks. Give it up for Talitha. She just, she had a, lo a rough night last night. Very rough night. But anyways, Bok Choy, also I wanted to do this. I don't know if I told you this, but I'd like you to tell people what the three rants are today. So everyone. Ra rant one. The rant one is me, history and magic. Rant two is Polly's crusty no, kitchen. No, we're going to change it to vintage Vegas. Sorry, I forgot to tell you we're changing it. So rant two is me, vintage Vegas. Rant three is me, dating in Las Vegas. And then we got 10 minutes. On, and then what happens if we fuck up? You do what to the thing? I'm going to ring the bell. Let me hear it. They want to fucking hear the noise. <laughs> Not so loud. You fucking broke it last time. Oh, my bad. Yeah, you're bad. Anyways, and, uh, James, where can people find the podcast? Well, Paul, you can find this wonderful podcast on YouTube, Instagram, Spotify, and All Things Comedy. Wonderful podcast. All right. Thank you. So here we go. We're going to get started. We got Talitha. We got Kira. We got fucking Bok Choy. We got James. We're dropping motherfucking in. This is my guest. Ha! Bok Choy, tell us about our guest. Well, our guest is from Burnaby, Canada. He actually has a degree in broadcast and communication and journalism. You can see him pawn stars as a magic historian. Speak closer to the fucking mic. Right. Go on. Pawn and stars, go on. Pawn stars as a magic historian. He was the first magician to make the first CD act. All Ladies. right. Awesome. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at the fucking research this guy did. You fucking get your own show. Here's his, ladies and gentlemen, Murray the Magician. From Vegas, you guys have seen him. You've What's seen up? the billboards. Ladies. Here he is. Oh, What's friend. up, dude? Here we go. How are you? Touch a dance with him. Make him feel comfortable. Oh, come on. In front, in front. No, you got to, no, no, no. You're being selfish. You're thinking. Think of him. Help him. I'm calling you. I'm calling you. Yes. Okay, cut, 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 cut. All right, that's good. Thank you. Cut, cut. Cut! What the fuck? Not fucking hear me fucking cut? <sighs> All right, well, here we are. How are you? How you been? Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty good, actually. All right, you I look got, pretty good. 
I got some sleep. Give it up for Murray the Magician. <laughs> Murray the What's Magician. That? So thank you so much for being here on the podcast. The people watching, I know, they get off the fucking escalator in the fucking da 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 at the airport after Southwest, and they see the fucking thunder <laughs> down under. They see the carrot top. They see the Britney thing, and they say your poster. Yes. Right. I know. So give it up for the guy that you see his poster, <laughs> right? I'm the fifth guy along with the poster. That's where I'm no, at. No, but you've been here a long yeah, time. I you've have. been here a long time. Yeah, I have. And Eighteen years. Eighteen years been yeah. here in Vegas. So it's Murray the magician. Yes. So you do magic. I do magic and do. comedy. And what's not magic is comedy. And what's not funny is magic. I don't. It's magic. Yeah, okay, it's good. No. So he does magic and comedy. So if you guys are big magic fans, I know a lot of people. Are we gonna do? I don't know what actually what it has because it's, it's, it's random. I It's random. It's random. I know. Shit, some shit go down. Yeah. So I met Murray with my father, Sammy Shore. Um, Several years ago. Great man. Yes, your several, father yeah, was let's up a little more. unbelievable. No, your father, you know, well, you know that's your father, but he's one of those guys that when he walked in a room, like he just, uh, everyone knew he was there. He was always dressed to the nines. He had matching pants with an Argyle shirt and a hat with glasses. He always looked like he was ready to walk on stage. Yes, you know? And that yes. was the coolest thing about your yeah. dad, you know, and he was so welcoming to everybody. Yeah. Always had some advice. Uh -huh. Always positive. He never gave know? me advice. That's why things <laughs> fucked up in my life. But listen, just more importantly, the audience might not know who my dad is. He's a stand-up comedian. Yeah. Several years. You yeah. worked with him at the Laugh Factory. Lots, yes. So he also did his dog charity many yeah. years over at the Orleans Hotel. Yeah. You know, and Nasty you know, Bones, it's called, right? Yeah. Is it called yeah. Nasty Bones? I think it's Nasty. Is it Nasty Bones? No, it's not Nasty no, it's not Bones. Not, it's Bones. It's bones. bones. Yeah, Funny Bones. Funny Bones. And Funny he always bones. has, you know, you know, Lance Burton and a ton of great comedians. You, of course, have been on it. And anything to do with dogs or rescuing, I'm a huge, huge fan of. So yeah. that was a huge plus. He likes to eat you dogs, know? right? Tell nice. Tell uh, How many something? have you had this week? Um, maybe just one or two. I make them fuh sometimes. Nice, good. <laughs> okay, very nice. Perfect. Excellent. Right. Yes. She just right no, she it. just wants attention. I get it. She gets that's she wants it. she wants people to look weird. What? That's Salita and that's Kira over there. Hi. And then ladies. Yes. Looking and, beautiful. Um, yes. And uh, so so we met with my father many years ago. Yeah. And um, your my father passed about a year was a year about a year, a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago. Yeah. And your father passed. Yeah, he Tell about us about five that. years ago. Yeah, my dad was eighty three. You know, like your dad, he was super awesome and he always supported what I did. And you know, it was always that time when you, you realize you never want it to happen mm. that you're gonna lose your parents as you get yeah. older. You know, and you just hope that you can be old enough that they can see a bit of your success, you mm. know, or you do at least something right. You want some you bourbon? Know? I think I'm okay right now. Right now. Yeah, bourbon maybe later, anyone? maybe later. No, there's no bourbon. <laughs> see. No. So yeah, because- but it's true, right? It's yeah. like your father, you know, when you were growing up with your dad, did he, what was your dad's first joke that you ever heard that your dad? He never actually, I don't really remember a lot of his jokes. He did give me advice. What was like? What was his main like thing? Well, his advice he gave me he said, "Cunt hairs move battleships." Wow, is Does what it? he said. Yeah, they do. I think so. I Perfect. Mean, that makes sense. They cause wars. They cause fucking car crashes. <laughs> yeah. Right? Cunt hairs what? <laughs> no, that's not a fucking nice. car crash. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! We fucking practice this yes. shit. Yes. So Number one DJ far, in Las Vegas. No, my dad did a lot of. Yeah. My dad did a lot of. Um, you know, he did the Brother Sam thing. That's right. You know, he did the Brother yeah. Sam thing. He did the, um, fuck, he did. He, and tell him what the Brother Sam thing is, though. Uh, I don't know. It was like a preacher thing. Okay. Where he's yeah. like, yeah. you remember it? Yeah, I, yeah. I just, I mean, it's been a while, so I mean. I loved his bit when, when texting first came in, which is what, 20 years ago, 15 years ago. But he started doing the texting on the, and he always did the, and then he did like all that, and then an emoji, and he talked about the emojis on stage. And all yeah. these emojis, like, I don't know what these mean. And right. you know, an eggplant and a happy face and a mm -hmm. peach. What does this mean? Yeah. To me, it's food. Yeah. I'm like, yes, the, it is. The, yeah, the most, <laughs> the most important thing for me with my father is that he got to open for me. So That's he toured, cool. Yeah, he toured and opened for me for a long time, which so was great. spend some good time with him then. Yes. And my mom was really funny because my mom and my dad never really got along. And she'd be like, what are you doing that for? He's <laughs> using you. I'm like, fucking stop it, mom. You fucking divorced him 40 years ago. Get off. You know what I mean? That's it's classic. like fuck, dude. You know what I mean? What but I took, yeah, I took him on the road. You know. So what, what I mean? was it like on the road? Did you guys always get along, or was it like any father son type thing? Was it like, did you have your arguments at night, or would you be like, Dad, come on now, you know? Or would it just be like a best no, friend thing? No, it was a, it was a best friend thing. But the thing that was really cool about it, which was that he just loved to perform. He just loved being on. He stage. just loved being on stage, like. 
Yeah. For instance, I, we would do two shows a night and I would be fucking exhausted. And I'd just be on my bus just going, ugh. And he'd be like, let's go, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. What's it, what are you gonna book more show? Let's go. He had fucking more energy than me. It's unbelievable, right? Yeah. yeah, so he was, and then he'd been to the gym here. Everywhere I go, I go to the gyms, I work yeah. out, and everyone I meet says, oh, I worked out with your dad at Gold's. Yeah. Here in Las Vegas. He was in great shape, and he was smart, and he was very good. What I loved about him was so quick, too. Mm -hmm. He'd be in the green room hanging out, and there'd be like seven, eight comics sitting around talking, and he'd, you'd, you'd, you'd think he'd be on his phone or something, and he'd be actually listening, and all of a sudden, he'd just throw a one-liner, and you're like, right. wow, always, I thought you weren't even paying attention. Yeah. So he was always on at your dad, so. Yeah, so yeah. I always, yeah, so our relationship, our relationship was always kind of, I don't want to say it was weird, but we never really got to, <laughs> Well, no, we never well, got to spend. Kind of weird to begin with. I mean, we never us. got to, right, but we never got to spend any time together. Most comics that I have on here, I have this long history yeah. with. Like I had Phase on Love last last week on here. I've been with him for thirty years. You, yeah. on the other hand, this is a new relationship. Yeah. So you're, you, I'm new in Vegas. You've yeah. been here eighteen years. Eighteen. Yeah, we usually pass each other in the hallway, the Laugh Factory, or one of the yeah. comedy stories. Yeah. High five. How's it going? And then right. that's it. And then your dad would always sit around because he played uh, Laugh Factory a lot as well. You know. Mm -hmm. and, but yeah, the and I had reached out to you because you're from Canada. Yep. I reached out to you, uh, I don't know, it was like a month ago, and I said, dude, I'm fucking here. Yeah, I was like, and what are you doing like, in Vegas? I'm, I'm like, living here. And you're like, oh, fuck, this guy? <laughs> there you nice. go. Nice. So yes, go. now we're up to speed. We are awake. Yeah. The DJ's awake. Here we so, go. So, yeah, so I'm new to Vegas. I'm excited about being here. You what do you, know? How do you like Vegas? How do you like being in Vegas? I you love all over the place. Yeah. Right? No, just to LA. Is that it? Yeah. That's it. Okay. Yeah. That and out of my suitcase. Well, so, well, sometimes in LA, it feels like you live all over the place. You know, you just yeah. go two blocks, it's a different place. Yeah. So I, yeah, so I, I, I really enjoy it here. I feel free. Yeah. I feel like happy again. I feel like, you know, free. Sure. You know, so as a comic, I'm really excited to get back on the stage. Yeah, of course. When Excuse was the last show that, that you happened. did before this whole COVID thing? Like besides, I did Seattle, you know. Seattle in mid uh, mid July, mid July. Yeah. What about you? Okay, me live uh, March the fifteenth. Live. I mean, I've done on you know YouTube and everything. And you, but, you know, what's crazy, you guys, is this motherfucker did shows after fucking shows after <laughs> fucking shows. No, you did yeah. so many shows. Yeah. James, you've seen this no. guy. Right? Yeah, I love you when, when you startle black people, you know, because we, <laughs> we feel a certain way about like magicians and shit. You were the best audiences ever. So, amazing. What did you do with amazing. black people? Everything's amazing. Like, they really think, you know, like you have a power. And I'm thinking, no, I just got the instructions out of the back of this. And here it is. Mm. Wow. But I appreciate the reactions. Hey. Love I mean, you, man. love it. Thank yeah, you. yeah. Thanks for See, this that. is cool. So I'm excited to have Murray. So Murray, the magician, isn't your last name. What's your no. last name? Uh, my last name You're is Saw Chuck. Saw Chuck. It's Ukrainian. Fuck. Saw Chuck. Fuck. Fuck. That's why I went by Murray the magician. See, it's easier. <laughs> There's Saw a reason. Chuck. There's so a method to my madness. So is your real name Murray? Yeah. It's, so it's yeah. Murray the magician. Oh wait, Murray Saw Chuck. Well, Murray the magician, right. and then Murray Saw Chuck if you're like the IRS, and then it's Magic Murray if you're on YouTube. I like to mix it up a little wow. bit. Wow. Now I know my audience that way. They go, oh. That's good. They say my name, I know where they know me from. Do you remember That's that true. guy, was it Yahoo Serious? Remember him yeah. from fucking Australia? He kind of looks like Yahoo Serious. Do you remember Yahoo Serious? I mean, we're taking it back, dudes, for you fucking kids. <laughs> yeah. This is like, right? But you know what's you funny, know what I mean? though? My first name is my mother's last name. That's her maiden name. So okay. I got two last names. I got my father's last name and my mother's first name is my first name. Sick. Makes Sick. sense. Awesome. So we're excited to have you here. Murray saw Chuck of wood chuck if you can't chuck in this fucking wood <laughs> double chuck chuck. Yes. Anyways, on that note, it's time for what? Baby! Woo! For red number one, dudes. Yeah. Why the fuck did down you low. stop Let's the go. music? Up high. And then to the right, to the right. To the left. Spin around, spin around. Woo! Yeah. All right, cut, cut, cut the music. This guy just fucking snuck into my house. Oh. All right, so, Bok Choi, tell us. Hello, everyone. The first rant is going to be history of magic. You got 10 minutes to rant. Let's get ready to rant, though! <laughs> 
Hey! Wow, okay. that is aggressive, that yes. bell. Jesus like, Christ. God. That's how it's... So the history of magic. Yes. So let's talk about that. All right. So you just talk right there. I'm going to sit with the babes. You just okay. speak straight great, great. to the camera. So the history of magic, Polly, it dates back, obviously, way, way back. Uh, even 12, And also 13, tell people why they should love magic because there's people that are resistant like myself about magic. That's so true. talk to those people. Well, what's interesting about magic is anytime you say you're a magician, um, everyone's like, oh, cool, you do birthday parties. And it's right. true. They right. Mean, everyone think, right? Everyone said it, right? And, and they, you actually make a living off. It's kind of when you're a comic, they go, okay, so what do you do for a real job? I'm like, no, no, I'm actually, that's what I do, you know? And so, as a magician, you always have that stigma. So that's Ben, the make sure thing. you cut to my you know? reaction sometimes. So that's Because I know last week you fucked up. <laughs> sorry, we're in a work in progress. Can we here. do it one more time? <laughs> Birthday party magicians. See, there it is. See, that's, that's, that's how well, it works. I, I very don't want to tell him to good. do it. I just fuck it, you know? I just because he might fucking fall that. asleep. <laughs> okay, sorry. And so, magic dates way back, but it started actually back in, uh, back in China, believe it or not. Hey! Bangkok, you cock, I love cock, dude. Say it again. Speak We're gonna try Vietnamese. one more time for the reaction. Speak Vietnamese. China. Yeah, China, be a. Do ya? Yeah. All right, maybe not. Um, so. Uh, I started way back then, and then of course, the big magicians in the world were like Dante, Blackstone, Thurston, all these old guys that would cut people in half. Wow. And they would really do elaborate things. They didn't have the technology we had today. The lighting, and wow, don't, I, I like the glasses. I, it's they're, they're, I it's you, a magic trick. I'm looking you, over here. I thought you changed it to somebody else. I didn't even recognize you. I'm looking if over had, here. If you had wings, you could just fly right through here. Look at you. <laughs> so anyways, that was the magic how it started. Then Doug Henning in our kind of world. Wow, Doug Henning. Yeah, I remember he was, that fucking guy. Yeah, he was one of the first Canadian. That's like the Yaga serious guy. Correct. Right. Yeah, and he was all into the transcendental meditation where you float and bounce around and rubber things. What and, years uh, was Doug Henning? He was 70s. And, wow. and he was the first magician to have a show on Broadway called The Magic Show, a really famous show. And then all of a sudden Copperfield was coming around and Copperfield kind of saw a lot of his ideas and then he modernized it in the 80s and then it was David Copperfield. And then from Is it there, David Copperfield? You know, well, that's I sometimes that to some that's people. That's a rim shot if yes. I fucking <laughs> to some people. I ha wait, wait, stop. Okay, well, wait, <laughs> I can't fucking tell you when you did the rim shots. You gotta be feeling. If you think it's corny, do a what? Rim shot! Right. Okay, try okay. it again. Copperfield. And you don't always have to do the fucking. That's not you don't bad. always have to do that fucking sound effect, do you? You did told you, me. She did you buy the me, big package of all sound that's effects. That's what I'm saying. She, she doesn't have it for free. That's why she only has one. No, dude. <laughs> Forget it. Keep going. This is a disaster. <laughs> so David Copperfield became obviously very famous. Still is. Still plays in Vegas like 40 weeks a year. Do you know that? Yes. 40 weeks a year, like three. You think we work 40 weeks a year? He does sometimes four shows a day. So that's the his. What about you know? Houdini? Well, Houdini is he was an escapologist, right? That was his main thing. But the greatest thing with Houdini, what people don't realize, is he was actually one of the greatest PR magicians, actors, stars out there. Because you know wow. when he would come into a town, they didn't have internet back then. They only had newspapers. They only had the radio, no TV. So what he would do is he would actually do a stunt. If he was in Chicago or New York, he would like hang from a rope in a straight jacket, but he would hang exactly over the newspaper's main building. So oh he'd be dangling in front God. of the windows, doing an escape in front of like the, the Chicago Times mm. or the New York paper. So as they're writing, they're going, who the hell's out the window? Of course wow. they'd write about it. Wow. So we always got in the front and cover. Then, and then so. he dunked he dunked in a tank. I always saw yeah. it. Remember Houdini, you remember, Talitha, you remember Houdini? In a water tank, the Chinese water torture cell. Make some shit yeah, yeah. up. The Chinese water well. torture cell. Yeah. yeah. That, that was, so Houdini, one more time, like, Chinese water torture cell. Okay, anyway, yeah. so, <laughs> perfect, carry on. He'll catch well, up. I'm just He's trying to engage her because Talitha's Clap part, on, clap off, partner. Talitha, right. There's a lot of younger people that watch this. Talitha's part of the younger generation. Do you know about Houdini at all? Or? I mean, kind of. Did he lock himself in a safe and then go into water? Y yeah, oh. yeah. Okay, yeah. See, nice. And, See? Okay, there, no, no okay. I thought we were going to so, I thought we were on yeah, yeah, so, mesmerized. So there's Houdini. So, so there's Houdini, but also, what about, fuck, I've seen some... Uh, what about this thing? I got this, this, this is a good one. You you sure? What the hell this? are you doing? How you close are you going to get to me? Look you want to kiss? <coughs> you no, that's, a, that? that's not a trick. That's something, that is Vegas though, but that's not a trick. You I mean, never done you that before? Your... Did you see it? <laughs> yeah. Looks good, right? I know. From Talitha, behind you, it looks Talitha, a little weird to be honest Talitha with you. is the only one that is like actually thinks it's cool. She's like, oh my God, that's cool. So, so, so what other, so yeah, so that's crazy. So Houdini and then now of course we're into like David Blaine. And then in between that was a guy named Yuri Geller. You ever remember him? He bent spoons okay. in the 70s. He bent one spoon and became famous for 30 years. Can you believe that? Yeah. 
Hey, yeah, Black so. Troy, how much left time do we have left on the rant? You guys have about four minutes left. Jesus Christ. Wow. This is fucking taking a we long time. We have enough time. history. Yeah. Magic so hasn't been around long, long enough, Black Troy. You gotta keep No, don't, don't fucking stop it, dude. It's 10 <laughs> minutes. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> so, so anyway, you got Houdini. You Houdini got this guy with and all that stuff. And, and the cool, now, what's really cool about history is they actually use magic in wartime. So there's mm. a magician named Mascalini, and he was way back in the German war. And what they did is they couldn't afford enough tanks mm. to have in the army. So what they, but to make, if you were coming over the hills and you were the opposing country and you saw a bunch of tanks there, you'd be like, wait a minute, this isn't good. What he did is he made the, the people feel that there was tanks coming this way, but they didn't want to use real tanks because mm. they needed to be behind them. So wow, what they did is they took all their Jeeps and they built covers for them to look like tanks. Mm. So they oh, hid wow. these Jeeps under these tanks. They had literally about 400 Jeeps that looked like actual tanks and they put them over here because they needed to get behind them not in front So they fooled them thinking yeah. all these tanks were coming this way So of course they went that way when the real tanks were behind wow. them and then they and came up so that they use magic a lot yeah. in in the war times And the too, Asians so. call that what bok choy? Um, backup, pretty much. No, yeah. fucking sneak attack. Yeah, <laughs> sneak attack and illusion. <laughs> okay, sneak attack. He knows it, so he knows it. Cool. Nice. So, so yeah, so you got Houdini. Break it down, So you, because I know stand-up comics. Yeah. You got Lenny Bruce, Richard Pryor. That's right. Rodney, you know, and yeah, all yeah. these da-da-da. So no, break it down. Yeah, way back it goes, it goes from, Houdini. like, Dante. So Dante's Dante, the first yeah. One. Thurston. Okay, Dante is the first first magician. He's well, like, no, no what about Charlie Chaplin? Well, he wasn't a magician. <laughs> he was he was an actor and a comic. <laughs> nice, that's a new one, that's a new one. That was really good. Very nice. My fucking shoulders I'm fucked up from that. that. <laughs> Look at it, I can't even put it down now. See, what the fuck? Well, some help. Here, just lift this one up. There you oh, go, now you're go. good, you're fine. <laughs> okay, so 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 break it down for the third yeah, so graders. Yes, Dante, Thurston, Keller. Dante is the Keller. first. Slow, slow, slow. You okay. go really fast. All right. Dante Thurston. Yes. What year? This is we're back like early 1800s, 1830. Fuck, dude, and he was doing some shit. Well, cutting people in half. He's one of the ones that wow. started cutting in half. But don't forget the cutting half boxes back then was a box this high, and this wide, and that was one section. And wow. the other, so you kind of I don't know how they fooled people because you could have probably put 30 people mm -hmm. in there. Um, but that was the first tricks. And then from there, it became Houdini was right around like the late 1800s, early 1900s. So he was number two? He, no, he would be three or four or five because so Houdini was So break it was down because I want to know the Dante, history. Dante. Keller. Keller. Thurston. Thurston. Houdini. Houdini. Blackstone. Blackstone. Blackstone Jr. Blackstone Jr. Doug Henning. Doug Henning. Oh, and yeah. And then, of course, David Copperfield. David Copperfield. And he's the, 80s, right? Uh, David's no, like David's 80s. like 70. Yeah, 70s? 70s. Yeah, 70s. No, no, no. He, he came in the 70s. Oh, in the 70s. Sorry, I thought it was his age. Yeah, in the 70s. Um, and then from then we got David Blaine, which is the '90s. Wow! And you know, then you, so. and then what do you call your influence? Your, like who is like for me? I always say like Richard Pryor and Sam Kennison sure. were my favorite comics. So yeah. for you, see, mine is a guy named Tommy Cooper in England. I love Tommy. Why Cooper. Why didn't you mention him when I fucking told you? I to love mention Tommy this Cooper. Guy. No, I like Tommy. He wasn't a magician; he was a comedian. He was an English comedian. Wow. He actually died on stage. He literally was in the middle of a trick and dropped, and the whole audience thought it was part of his act because wow. he was always. And then no, he actually died on camera. That was and that's your favorite guy. What's up, you guys? It's Polly and Bok Choy. Bok Choy, dude. Winning season returns at my bookie. The winning season means double your first deposit. Tell them. Winning season means insane player props, epic bonuses, and the craziest cross sport wagers. Yes, it's awesome. That's at my bookie. Winning season means watching live sports, getting in on live sports all season, season long, long dude. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs are starting where they left off, and the NFL has officially returned in a huge, huge way. And that means action-packed Sundays, huge cast prizes, week in and what? Week, week out, out dude. So get in on the action, use promo code RANTS, and double your first deposit. New players get up to $1,000 in free play, designed to add more excitement and more sports you love and the games what? That you bet on, right? So tell them. Bet with the best this NFL season for your chance to win big. Very big, dude. Use promo code RANTS and double your first deposit. Your winning season begins today only on what? My bookie, dudes. Bye. Come on, let's go get some <laughs> sausages, dude. Yeah, dudes. And then, and so yeah, when did you first start doing it? When did you first start doing I it? I started, 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. What? Sorry, guys. Time's up. Oh. Dude, we, we're oh. just getting into it, That's dude. It. We have to keep going. That's yeah. it. Yeah, it's only 10 minutes, guys. No, no, no. We got to keep going. He's about to talk about himself. Oh, man. Sorry, we got to go to a rant, too, guys. Wow. He's not Sorry. He's serious. Yeah, he's, he's very serious. serious. He's very okay, intimidating. time for rant You're number two. Two, two, two. Hey. Over there. Right. Weirdo, over there, over there, weirdo. Okay. All right. Thank you. So keep, going, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> All right, weird guy that snuck into my house. I love it. And I love this area. These homes are amazing, dude. Yeah, so this is, this is, what's the rant, Chinese? The rant is Vintage Vegas. You got 10 minutes to rant. Let's get ready to rant. Dog. Hey. Okay, so it's Vintage Vegas. Yeah. So that's where we're going. I love old Vegas. So I really tell do. me about it. I mean, this, this house, house yeah. this area. This whole area is like old Vegas. So this area is the Vintage Vegas kind of area. And it's, it dates back to the late 50s, you know? Mm. And everyone who was everyone lived in this area. And we're talking about the pit bosses. We're talking about mafia. Mm. There's, there's singers just down the street here. And some of you may not know this, but way back in the day, we're talking 30s to the 60s, they're called the McGuire Sisters. They're mm. like the Andrew Sisters, which is quite a famous uh, three girl sing group. But Phyllis McGuire lives down this way. Phyllis? Phyllis McGuire. And so she's Phyllis still McGuire, here. we gotta Google. Yeah. You guys Google Phyllis, well don't Google, but you know. Yeah. Phyllis so McGuire, Phyllis McGuire, and it shows you all about her house, and even in the middle of her living room, she used to have a, uh, a mini Eiffel Tower, just like in Paris, in the middle of her actual living room. Wow. It has a secret door, and he, she used to date a guy named Sam Giancana. Mm. If anyone knows the Mafia, uh, that was one of her boyfriends, and so they would have a lot of hangs with all the entertainers of the Keep world. Keep talking, you know? and I'm going to go And we're talking here. about like Sammy Davis, Frank Sinatra, everybody, mm. and he, there's also supposedly a secret passage in that home where literally you'd open a bookcase and you can get out of the house without using the front or the back door so and that house is super cool i think it's actually for sale i think so 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 the, so the feeling of this old vegas is what it's just like oh i mean doesn't dean martin live across the street or no you know what's funny jerry lewis the house across the street though is, i actually looked at that me and my girlfriend looked at that about a year and a half ago to maybe buy and it's like a two and a half acre lot and the cool thing is, uh, th Billy Gibbons lives on the other side here, right? Yes. Somewhere? Yeah, Billy's bought a house here. And then just over a street, a few streets over that way, Jerry Lewis had his house there for about 40, 45 years. And I was lucky enough, would you believe, his, the chandelier in my house mm. is actually his chandelier that he had in his dining room. Really? I bought it at an auction and I rewired it and it's in my home now, yeah. Isn't that cool? And he's a legend, you know? What would he eat in there? Anything good? I'm just kind of hungry. Wow. Some food. Do you have any more? Do you have more food than bread? Do you have anything? This is all I got. That's all you got? Just you bread? got some bagels. Here, let's make. Do you mind if I make? Mm. Can you make something? No, I'm not. Oh, oh, here. Can yeah. I use this? Can yeah. I use this pan? Cool. Yeah. Is that all right? All right. And then uh, you can I? Are you guys hungry? He's gonna make some here. food. Yeah. Do you mind? Talitha, are you hungry? Here, let's I'm do this. I'm always hungry. You guys hungry? Here, I'll just use a little of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't want to turn your oven on because it takes Where too long. It's just lighter fluid. It's a quicker way. What yeah, are you doing? Fine. No, 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 you can't do that. Yeah, yeah. Here, see? The fuck, bro. Yeah, it's great. Do this, do a little of that. Check that out, huh? See, like that? Look at that, chicken. How's that? Oh my see? God. It's a full chicken right there, people. It's a oh chicken. Oh my God. Here, let's have some chicken. Talitha, he made a chicken. Here, here. Oh my, can you put it on here? Yeah, here, try a little bit. It's here. actually chicken. Yeah, no, it's real chicken, here. How Enjoy do you just this? do that? It's magic, here, there you go. Is oh my God. You like Usually that? I just put cream cheese on this. It's thing. quite nice. Yeah, here. Oh my God, I can eat it. Yeah, it's not bad, isn't it? So it's not just an, right? No, I just made it yourself. Yeah, you like it? Oh my that? God. You got like chicken. It's pretty good, huh? It's good, give him room, huh? Chicken, anybody? No? Yeah. It's no chicken, that's, that's oh my God. Well cooked. Yeah, that's amazing. Kind of. Here's a cool story about four streets this way. I think it's on Palo Alto, or Alta. 
that's where, you know, the big hotel downtown, back then they used to be really big called Binion's, mm. Benny Binion, he was mm. a Texan, came here, had a lot of money, bought the hotel in the gallery, the first ones that started the poker here, tournament. Here, come TV. over here. Uh-huh, sure. Yeah, let's walk this way, because this uh -huh. is interesting stuff. Sure. So well, they first started the poker tournament? Well, yeah, and from Binion's. So the cool thing about that is Benny Binion, he... Bang, bang, come in here, listen up, because I know that you like tricks. So Benny Binion, um, just stand here and stare. There right you go, here. perfect, right there. Look at that. See, no, it's like to a the family. right a little. This, this is our Christmas card. Okay, look at that. So go on. Um, Put your so, arms down, dude. You look. Yeah, not, look at that. See, look at you. Okay, go on. See, it's like Benny, a love Benny Binion. Um, so Benny Binion from Texas, he started Binions downtown. The mm -hmm. cool thing is his son, Ted Binion, ran the operations after. Well, he was already already caught into so many different things like that he shouldn't have been caught mm -hmm. into. Well, the home over here where he lived in. One night, he was actually found murdered in the bedroom. Wow. And his lover, supposedly, they think, murdered him along with her lover. So she, she was wow. cheating on him with another guy. And I think she was either a stripper or a prostitute, something like that. Anyway, she ended up supposedly killing him in the bedroom. Wow. They went to jail for a few years. But now, I think she's in, like, Newport Beach selling art. Wow. So see, kill somebody, wow. and you too can be an art dealer. Right. And then, and so. then where did Liberace live? Because didn't he have... Yeah. The, yeah he, what's his story? His house is really cool. Because wasn't there the movie, was it with Liberace? Who played Liberace? What was that oh, movie? Oh, um, the... Um, oh, what's the Michael names? Douglas. Michael right? Douglas, and then Matt Damon. Yeah, Matt played Damon. Played his lover, right? Yes. There, yeah. And, Did yeah. you remember the Liberace movie? I'll Behind the Candelabra. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen it. Great movie, yeah. yeah. So his real house, and it's still... Um, somebody's bought it and re. So re Liberace the whole house. is. Oh, yeah. Liberace he was a singer with furs. Well, he's a, well, he's a, actually he's the greatest piano player. Uh, I would say one of the most famous piano players wow. in the world. Not wow. always the best, but he was a showman. He was the yeah. guy that walked on stage, had all the glitz. He'd he walk was on stage, Elton you know. John. Yes, he was before Elton John. I think Elton John also took a bit of a style yeah. with the glasses yeah. and the flamboyance. And he'd walk on, do his most famous things was he'd actually drive on stage here at the International Hotel, which is now called the Westgate, which I'm mm -hmm. sure your dad's worked that room as well. Hey, you know what I just realized? Yeah. If I have corona or you have corona, we both just gave each other corona. Yes, we did. That's I'm awesome. blown up, brother. What about you this guy? You're in. Yeah. yeah. I just touched you. It's okay. You have corona. Three's, okay. Three's a crowd. <laughs> yes, yeah, okay. We can quarantine together. <laughs> okay, so. So, anyways, Liberace's house is down the other mom, way. Yeah, so. my mom used to have the Dunes Hotel in Las Vegas. Oh, you said, oh that's it. The club was upstairs. That's right. No, the Dunes, before they blew it, now it's the Bellagio. That's right. Yeah, she had her club there, right? Her yeah, comedy club. In, no, it was the comedy store, and it was in the big right. showroom. It was like a 600 seater. And my mom used to actually get all her furs. Mm -hmm. From Liberace's furrier. No way. So, yeah, so my mom has all these like Mitzi Shore, all her minks that you saw, Mitzi yeah. Shore, her minks were Liberace, and she even got me some. So I have a couple no Liberace furs That's super that cool. I was going to give to Bok Choi for Christmas, but now See? that yeah. it's. It might not you know, be, it it might, not, there, there might be a lot of fur for you. You could be. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, you're supposed, you know? how much time do we have left on the rant, dude? You guys have about two minutes left. Two minutes? Okay. I think we should hit it, hit it. Oh, no, wait. We, we want to do one more thing? Come in the kitchen, another trick. Let's do another trick. Oh, we're going to do oh, more yeah, trick. Yeah. Okay, this trick will last too here. long. Yeah. No, no, and here. then you got to be more aggressive, dude, when it's time. You, you're not forceful. Can I use this? No, here. go back to your here. thing. Here you got to watch the thing. Here we go. You got to be go. more forceful at 10 Check minutes. Yeah. You can't just fucking, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can't be like, you can't be like, all right, guys, it's rent time. You got to be like, boom, no, finished. Okay. Like we talked about when no one was here. Yes, yes. Okay, go on. Ready for magic? Perfect, yeah. Polly. Napkin. Here okay. we go. Watch. Here, here. Hang on to it. Check so it out. This is That's awesome. Not... Check it out. Ready? Yeah. All right. Have a look at it. Normal napkin? Yes. Yeah, so you guys, right. it is. It's a normal napkin. I know a lot of people are maybe yawning, going, I don't want to fucking see this dumb right. trick. Yeah. So I'm see looking it. at the same thing. Here right. it is. Nothing, it's a right? normal napkin. So we do this and we rip it, right? You're watching. Rip, it, rip, yeah. rip, right? Watch. Rip. Right. We roll this into a tiny little ball. Super tiny. Yes. yes. Watch. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. A tiny ball. Tiny ball. Super tight. Super tight. tight. Roll it some more. Roll it some more. Tight. tight roll tight. it? Yeah, roll it. When tight. you say roll just squeeze, it. Just squeeze it. You just did something down there, you fucking cocksucker. I didn't do nothing. I didn't you fucking cocksucker. I did nothing. I got some shit. I did nothing. Motherfucking little nothing. sneak fuck. I did nothing. Okay, go on. And then like that? Do like this? Go like this? And do like this? Yeah, you just did like something this? just there. Like this? And then you did something. Like nothing. You fuck. Nothing. Did nothing. Okay, now what? Now, open it up. Tell the camera. Oh my god, it's fucking back together again. Look at that, see? Holy shit. What? Oh. Oh, that's a new sound effect. 
I thought somebody was talking. Oh, hell What I'm the fuck? You're confusing me. <laughs> All right, guys. Time's up. <laughs> You're confusing me. Is it a fucking finish to the rant or is it a fucking da 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 da? It was a fi- The rant's finished. Well, then tell us. Yeah. The rant's More finished. More forceful. So for rant number three, guys. Hit it. Not too hard because it'll break. But four- And why isn't this on your fucking lap like we talked about when no one was here? Go, go. No, no, rant number three is what, dudes? It's time for rant number three, dudes. No, what is it? It's gonna be a uh, dating in Vegas. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. All right, music. You don't get to come up on this one. You've been fucking up. Come on, James. You sit there in this fucking shit. You gotta <laughs> dance with us, dude. You still wanna be part of the show? We're going to this dance. Room, right? Here we go. Ben, make sure you cut over there. I hope you guys are having a good time at home. We know it's a fucked up time in the world, but we're just trying to bring freedom, right? Yeah. And let go, dude. Montgomery, is that your name? Montgomery? Go up and say hi to them. Go climb yeah, up there. Right there. <laughs> yes, McDonald's. Yeah. Oh, nice to be here. Glad I found it. Yeah, bro. Keep talking, right. dude. They're your friends. Actually, it's something called Legionnaire's Disease. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, get, hey, off. Hey, get, hey, off. Hey, get off. Hey, get off. Hey, get off. Hey, get off. Cut the music. <laughs> Fuck, James. You're going to have to get this guy to my motherfucking house soon, bro. <laughs> All right. Well, that oh. was cool. So, so this rant... Is what? It's dating in Las dating Vegas. Dating in Las... Hey, wait, wait, for a second. You just had a new movie come out. Yes. Guest House. Yes. I saw it. Funny. Thank you. If you guys thank have not you. seen this, hilarious. Yes, I thank mean, you very much. Did you enjoy it as much as it looked like you did filming I, it? It looks so cool, man. Yeah, no, it was cool. It was nice to be, um, you know, starring in a film again. It'd yeah. been a while. So. We need to celebrate. Here. Yeah, we need to um, celebrate. We already... Here. The film already came out, though. No, We're no. Not, we don't need to we'll celebrate. Cele- no, it's out. Can we use this? Can we use champagne? Yeah. I don't okay, care. here. Let's do this. Let's shit. Shit. We're going to celebrate. Let's celebrate. Yeah, come on. Guest house coming out. Are we okay to Here celebrate, we you guys? We can celebrate, right? right? Guest yeah. house. Hey. Okay. All right. Champagne. Tell them to. The Tell them Here too. we go. All right, guys. So we're that. celebrating. Celebrating champagne in the yes. bag, right? Yes. Just like this. Just for you. I'm doing a trick. Bang, with champagne. Bang. Watch. Yeah. USA, dude. USA, dude. It's gone. Oh, shit. But it's gone. What the fuck? Where did it go? It's gone. Here, I'll bring it back here. See? Okay, no, really, it's gone. See, it's gone. No, but you're holding it. Yes, oh my gone. god! See? Wow. Holy fuck! Yeah. Wow. All right, back to dating in Vegas, right? Right. Okay. <laughs> that, how do you? That's how you make your girlfriends disappear. I do, you just yeah, throw yeah. them in a bag and throw them in the fucking I know trap. exactly. What do you got? Can I use this feather? Yes. It's a random feather. Yes. It's see? A, ra- a random feather. See? Yes. No, it's not. It's Whoa, a cane. It's shit. a cane. See? It is a cane. See? It's not a random feather. See, I was lying. See? Never trust a magician. <laughs> this is crazy. Never trust a magician. Put that away too. Oh my Perfect. God, what else? Can you do anything with my penis? Make it bigger? Well, that, that might cost you a little bit more. Yeah, but hey, you know, you never Rim know. Rim shot. Why you keep... You're... Wow, we're gonna go. We're, we're living by the airport. I didn't realize we're by the airport. Nobody. I had no idea. That's a... Is that a 747? Where the hell do you live? I didn't realize. That was a... Did you see that thing go by? So it's going over Dean Martin's house. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. So yeah. So, so back dating. back to where I saw you. I would see you at the um. I'd see you at the Trop. That's right. We'd be Laugh with Factor, Larry, yeah. Larry 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 uh, Harry Basil. Harry be Basil. Larry yeah. Basil. Good friend. Cool guy. Harry Basil. Right used He's to been take, around a long time. He used to take me to school. Are you serious? Yes. Back in L.A. Yeah. Because he was one of the he way back. He was my mom. One of my mom's like. Yeah. Helpers, assistants, friends, yeah. I remember seeing, when you go to the store now still, he's got a picture of him and Louis Anderson and Jim Carrey and a bunch of people yes. as soon as you walk in. Yeah. Yes. Great guy. Yeah. So yes. how, how is your dating life in Vegas? Well, I want to talk to you about the situation here first before right. we get into that. So All I would right. see you backstage. Mm-hmm. You had your girl before. That's right, yeah. Way your back. wife. Way back, yeah, my ex-wife. Your ex-wife. Ex-wife, yeah. Because I saw you probably about four or five years ago. You yes. weren't with her? I don't think I was. No, that could be another ex-wife. Wow. I like to collect them. Some people collect cars. I collect ex-wives. You know? How many ex-wives do you have? I think I have two or three. Wow. I have to check, yeah. And then you're from... Thank you. Nice! Look at that! The ladies got this. And then you're from Canada. I am. So they're American. 
They're American, so yes. So what's up with the green card situation? Well, oh, I don't have a green card, but I, I'm, a, I'm an American. I'm American-Canadian. Oh, wow. Yeah, both countries. So you'd be, okay, so yeah, you don't so have I'm to good. deal with no, that No, I'm, I'm set, yeah. I'm okay, good. so you're on stage, you have your girl, who's yes. also your wife. At the time, way back in no, the day. No, I know. We worked together, that's yeah. right, yeah, yeah. So years ago, because you yes. see that a lot. Yes, right. You see a it's lot convenient. of magicians, yes. You see a lot of magicians, and you see the, the girl that, the psychic, yes. and that's usually the what? Usually it's the wife, the girlfriend. The girlfriend. A lot of times, a lot of times you tour the world. Yeah. And after a while, when you're touring with somebody, over time, it kind of just happens. You know what I mean? Because it's, you know. So that's what I have to do with Random Rants. I have to tour America so that me and that's Kira right. can what? Exactly. Uh, hang out. Become <laughs> your no, next next wife. Not, not a rim shot. What do you So think? we can hit, kick it. So kick no, it. That's so what we can, kick you it. can become my wife. Yeah, ex-wife. No, wife, wife first. first. Wife and first and then new... ex-wife. You got to do, that's the order, I think. I'll be your right? new ex-wife. We'll be in there. Yeah, in your perfect. Well, it's good so, to know. Okay, so okay, so now you you told me uh, the other day when I saw you yes. that you were um, doing a show at Planet Hollywood. Correct. And then you were out to dinner with the head of of the. Yeah, so, so tell us about that because you have a new girl. Yeah. So my girlfriend Danny, we've been together three years now, and she's the host of the show Crazy Girls at Planet Hollywood. So when I moved and her there, name's Danny. Danny. And Danny she's Elizabeth, the lead singer, girl. Lead lead host, comedian, lead host, dancer. And all she's that at stuff. Crazy Girls. Crazy Girls at Planet and Hollywood. I was here. Oh and yeah, I here it is. Check it out. A photo. Show, yeah. This is a photo of me Check with the Jojo. crazy girls back in See? the day. That's right, and that was back, what, in the 80s, uh, 90s? No, it was probably late 90s. Yeah, that's at the Riviera. Yeah, that was at the Riviera. Yeah. So these are actual crazy girls. Yeah. So. And you know there's a girl on there, the one right to the left of you. Her name is Angela. Uh, Stabile, and she now has a show in town too. She produces three different shows, the X shows. The I, X think I, I think I think I had so. some intercourse with her. Did you? Well, okay. Yeah, so you well then, good for you. There we go. Hey, about, and that was she's fucking back. funny, she's bitch. Back. She's All right, back. I'm fucking strong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, so, yeah. So so Angela Labile. No, no, Angela Stabile. Stabile. S T A B I L. Yeah. So they own the X shows. Great people. So and, you met yeah. your girlfriend. Your girlfriend yeah, so, now. Wait, let me just yep. finish. So your girlfriend now is a crazy girl yes. in the show, and her name is Danny. Danny Elizabeth, Danny yes. Elizabeth, and you met her three years ago. Yeah, through her boss. Yeah. So here's Tell the funny story, get this. So I, when I first came to Vegas in 2002, all right, I wanted to get any show I could. So I came here, had my own show at the Frontier Hotel, which then I ended that, and I wanted another show to go into. So I knew crazy girls needed a guest spot. Doing a, a guest spot, for anyone that doesn't know that, is where you do 10 or 15 minutes in a production show. Your dad's done them way back in the day, all of us did them. And it's like opening or a middle act, just something different. So you're so, at dinner. I, no, no, this is before this, just a quick note. Jeez, I, this is, we're, the rant's gonna I know. be finished no, in no. Chinese. How much more time? You guys have about um, four minutes left. See, okay. it's quick. So I well, we got other tricks. tricks. You got yeah, other shit. You fucked me. Uh, no, no, Because once good. he says it's finished, That's it's a wrap. It. I know. Well, I'm going to do the I'm trick and talk you. to you about it. No, 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 no. I want you to tell the girl thing because then we're not going to get to dating okay. in Vegas. All right. Well, let me tell a girl thing then. You ready? Yeah. Now we blew to... a minute on that little argument, didn't we? Shit. See, that's why we're not dating. So, bang, the point is. Yes. I tried to audition for the boss. The, I lose the job. I did a great audition. I didn't get the job because she said, I don't want to hire you because you're going you're gonna to have sex with the girls. Mm. I'm like, what? Wait, wait, slow I was down. like, what? So, and so wait, stop, 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 stop. This stop, is back stop. in Wait, the, stop. Yeah. So you, they didn't hire you. Because he was because worried. He I thought I had sex with one of the girls. And he wanted to have sex with the girls. Well, he was already having sex with the girls. Come on now. Was the so age. that's probably so, why. So no, so I didn't get the damn job. But the audition went amazing. I killed it. So I'm like, son of a bitch. So then years go by, like 15 or 18, I'm now in a theater that he owns. He can't, I, I was already there before. He What's takes his name again? Norbert Alman. Norbert oh, Alman. Great guy. I great like guy. you. Why don't we get together? <laughs> we can guy. have some swordfish. Great. He's and some French. He's French. French. Not Italian. He's okay. not Italian. I don't He's know how to fuck French. Yeah. Go on. Perfect. Good Italian accent, though. Very good. So he says, You got to meet some girls. You're single now. I'll bring three single girls. We'll have a nice dinner. So it's I go, you, okay. Norbert, and the three and three, three girls that are single from the it's crazy hot. girls. I'm like, What? Ten years ago, you were upset because I was trying to maybe have sex with them. So, so we go for dinner. As soon as I sit down, I meet the girls. I'm shy, naturally. And I sit down. I go, you got to be kidding me. And the first thing he says, as soon as I sit down, I go, ah, oh, Barry, what do you think? Are blowjobs overrated? I'm like, are right. you kidding me? I just met the first line. I didn't even know their names. I'm like, um, you know, it's subjective. I said, and I met them. And then um, two months later, 
I did end up sleeping with one of them, and I was still dating, and we we're wow. together three years. Awesome. See, and I we're got the story to, in. And we're going to sushi? Yes. Us three are this going week. to sushi. This week. Yeah, no, we're going to bring another girl oh, for you. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so we'll find so dating in yeah. Vegas has been interesting for me. Yeah, well, how's it yeah. been? Like, it's not easy, it's, right? No, it's tough, yeah. Here's the problem yeah, with Vegas. Tough. Here's my problem with Vegas. When you ask a girl on a date, say you say, let's go over and do something next Tuesday, right? Because we're in Vegas. There is 78 things a night to do in Vegas. So by the time next Tuesday comes around, they've already had 10 offers. So all of a sudden, usually they drop the date. If you're in the down. middle of Iowa and you go, hey, let's go for dinner next week, well, there's not much going on. Usually the, the date sticks. But in Vegas, so if you make it a week away, the chances of her actually going out with date is very, well, rare. Well, then I'm really fucked because of the coronavirus. It's still been hard for me. So when it gets yes. back and busy again, I'm really going to get thrown out to the world. But at least with corona, though, you know so where I they gotta are. So I got to fly home. <laughs> See? I got to fly girls away. in from Iowa. Okay, yeah, let's do Iowa. this joke. All right, you want to do a trick yeah, now or not? <laughs> yes. Yeah, we got to do the fucking trick. Bok Choy, how much more time? Four you guys minutes. Got two, you guys what? got two minutes. Okay, two minutes. Let's do this. Here let's we go. You we got two minutes. Here we go. Can we see okay. this? Excellent. Here we go. Newspaper. It's actually a Holmes mm -hmm. from the Sun. You're doing it for them too. Yeah, I'm doing it for friends. you and them. Yeah. yeah. Newspaper. You're gonna help me, all right? So here's what I'm gonna do. Like this. Like this. And like here. Take that. Wow. Okay. Follow along. Here we go. Take that. Fold it in half. You want me to fold mine in half? Yeah. Do exactly as I just did. And then cut it. Yeah. And do this. Yeah. You got two minutes. The camera. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Showbiz. Yeah. Here we go. Smile. There it is. See? And then there. See? And then cut yeah, mine yeah, too. Yeah, Just follow me. Yeah. You're doing good. And then one more time. Like that. They can do this at home. Yeah, they could. While you guys are doing it. You guys can yeah. do this at home. Tear up your newspapers. Give it a shot. Let's see if it works. And then one more like that. Nice. There it is. Look at that. Look at this. We're it's like Siegfried and Roy. But Bangkok, different. you cock. I love so, cock, dude. Say, say it. I'll Bangkok, you cock. I love you, dude. Wow. Wait, no, I love cock, dude. Like this. <laughs> say it, Bang. I love like cock, this. dude. Stop like fucking that. doing so many fucking things. It's overboard. <laughs> You're fucking it up. Like this and like that. Blowing it. That's it. You always gotta blow it. I don't know why, but like this and like that. Like this. Oh and my this, God, dude. And this, and you do this, and you look really carefully. There is the paper just like that. Cool, huh? There look was at that. something I saw there. <laughs> I saw you, son of a bitch. I'm a magician. I'm a magician. Shut the fucking line. Hit it. Time's up, guys. All right. No more ranting. Say it, dude. No more ranting, dude. Kira, let's go. You got to play the song faster. Okay, you go now. This what are we doing? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're finishing it. We're doing, are we doing a trick with your buddy? Yeah, or no? we could, yeah. yeah. Okay. Whew. Was it okay, Sal? What's cool? You guys were cool? That's good. What are we doing? This is a slow we're jam. Just, what are we yeah, doing? We're just what cruising. A, waltz? What do you want to do? See? It's very. What do you think, Chinese? It's good. I like <laughs> you, dude. I like you, dude. You're my what? You're my bestie, dude. What about Montgomery? Is he cool? Yeah, so, always cool. So tell him to come out here and stop hogging the spotlight. Yeah, come out here, man. His girlfriend's out in the back. Yeah. And I figure you can do a, uh, we can do a trick with him too, right? Sure. You want to do a trick? Let's yeah. Do it. All right, just for you. Here, let me see. Uh, I'm going to borrow. Here, give him the mic. Yeah, here we are. Hey, wait, you know trick. what? Let, let, here, come here. Tell us a little bit about yourself, yeah. for real. So you're going to go work at McDonald's. Yeah, what's up? My name is uh, William Montgomery. I'm starting a new job tomorrow. Uh, general manager of McDonald's. Yeah! Woo! Uh, uh, the past three years, I was a general manager of a La Quinta Inn in Scottsdale, Arizona. Oh, awesome. things are looking up, huh? Things are looking good. I'm uh, addicted to ecstasy. Nice. I love that La Quinta, though, is a Spanish word for behind the Denny's. I love that. You Keep know that? going. Tell I us do. more about yourself. Uh, we like him. Do we I, like uh, him? I like it when my mom goes out of town because I get to sleep on her side of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Keep it going. That's good. He's funny. <laughs> bang, bang. Uh, she fucked up the rim shot. It's okay. Yeah, what okay. the fuck One happened? Joke. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to heroin. It makes my stomach hurt. <laughs> and then do you have kids or anything? Or I have three little boys. Awesome. I don't know where they are. Cool. <laughs> typical. It's typical. All right, so why don't we do it? So we got Murray the Magician. Would you like him? Do you like magic? or? I love magic. Okay, I... so here he's going to do answer. a trick with you. All right, here. Stand on my left. This is good. I'm going to borrow something from you. Here. 
perfect. Oh All right, God. so wow. here we go. All right, watch carefully. How many balls do I have? This one. one is just one, yeah. Okay, watch, here we go, watch. Nothing in the hand, this is for you. Okay. All right, here we go, push it in my hand, like this, like that. How many balls do I have now? Two. Oh, really? Look at you being. <laughs> no, no, what color is it? Uh, blue. <laughs> now watch carefully, you'll love this watch. Black ball. Oh, wow. You're blackballed, bro. And you gotta get the what do you fuck think? Out of do, what head. color is this one, do you think? Uh, yellow. No, it's a square. You, you gotta pay attention. It's a square. It's a square. Pay attention. How'd you, you do that? Focus. It's my turn now. You How'd did the joke. You do Focus that? on the magic. Give me my ball back. Oh, wow. Really awesome. Nice. Awesome. Okay. So the people. The people watching, give them some advice because there's some. Because now that we've been here, there might yes. be some. You might have inspired some young magicians. Yes. So tell them. So if you guys ever want to learn yeah, magic, exactly. Go to uh, the library. Go on. You can go to YouTube. You right. Check out his channel. Subscribe to your channel. That's so important. I don't do magic. No, I know, but you can, he's learning magic right now. Go to my channel, which is Magic Murray. We teach tricks all the time, right? Yeah. And also get. But the what books, about no? Not you know. No, we're gonna plug our stuff right yeah. after. But, books but wait, wait, no. Now. But I just want to say right here. Because I'm a comic, I always want to be a comic, so there's young magicians, what would you yeah. say? What would you well, say to Well, do what watch? you want to yeah, do. Yeah. My theory is, do what you want to do, because like you, you're, what you're doing, what I'm doing, the only reason we're doing what we're doing is because we just never gave up. I right. mean, you have those years, literally, that suck. I mean, you're thinking, wow, am I going to make money? Am I going to get another movie or another gig or another thing? And there's years you don't. And there's some years you do like 10 or 15 things in a year, right? Yeah, tell and me you man. do really well. But there's other years where you go, wow, maybe I should quit and get a job at Home Depot. Nothing wrong with Home Depot, I like Home Depot. But the point is though, I like that. So find so. something that you like, right? Yeah, but stick with it. Like, have, you're gonna have shitty days, but it doesn't matter. Like just, there's another day. So you go up there and do it again. Even if you have a bad yeah. show, you know what I mean? You have a yeah, bad show. So what Murray you know? is saying, you know what? It's like this. Yes, always. So be okay yeah. when it's down and be okay when it's, it's up. true, right? Right. I mean, you have to be, you know. Awesome, so, awesome. Yeah. All right, so tell people where they can find you on your social media. You can find me on Instagram under Got to Mike Chan. You yeah. right, come and sit next Poppy. to them. Spread the virus. It's okay. Go on. Nice. At Cholesterol Poppy on all sites. You want to do? You at McDonald's? Uh, I do a podcast called Brothers and Curses. Of course you fucking do a podcast, yeah. you cocksucker. <laughs> Girls. Hi, catch me, DJ Kira, all platforms. Hi, at Lethal TNT on Instagram. Yours. And uh, me, Magic Murray, on YouTube, and Murray the Magician everywhere else. Yeah, thank and you yours? so much. Mine is Polly Shore everywhere. Yes. Thank you guys for supporting Guest House. We are in the top 10 on iTunes. Yes. So millions Woo. of people are checking it out if you haven't seen it. It's funny very good. Movie. I want to thank everyone here. Thank you guys for hanging in there. Thank you, thank you. And we'll see you next week on Random Rants. And we'll check it out. We'll see you guys. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye. Bye.